Hey guys, I've had a couple of questions here recently on wiring up principles T3 controller to multiple amplifiers. Uh, there is a wiring diagram with the controller, but I wanted to do a mock-up with the actual products to help the installers. So starting with your first power supply coming off of primary power, you're gonna land that first power supply in the input side of the T3 controller. You can tell this is the T3 controller because of the touch panel that's on top. Um, it has a power button, mode, speed, and brightness. So coming out of your T3 controller, you're gonna run your first load. Um, I have set up here the Street Fighter RGBs. So with a 60 watt power supply, I can run 90 modules. If your project requires more than 90 modules, uh, you're gonna need a second power supply and an amplifier in order to repeat the signal coming off of the first load. So you're gonna take amplifier number one and land power supply number two. You're gonna take some four color wire and come from the output of your T3 controller to the input of your first amplifier and repeat the signal coming off of the first load in controller to the second load. If your project requires a third amplifier, meaning you have more than two bags, you're gonna repeat the process. You're gonna land a third power supply, take some four color wire, come from the input side of the first amplifier to the input side of the second amplifier, then out to your third bag. Going from input to input allows you to repeat the signal coming from the controller on each load. So as you can tell, when I turn this on, they all turn on at the same time. They all run through the same show at the same time. So it's evenly controlled throughout your sign. So just remember that coming out of the T3 controller to the input of your first amplifier, then from the input to the input from second to third amplifier in order to repeat the signal coming from T3 controller and the LEDs coming outbound of the T3 controller and RGB amplifiers. If you've got any questions, give me a call and I hope this helps your installers.